perfect. Uncharted 3 is an over-the-top action-adventure game uh, in which our hero, Nathan Drake, is searching for the lost city of Ubar, the Atlantis of the Sands. The inspiration for Nathan Drake comes from the long tradition of pulp action-adventure heroes in cinema. Drake is a, he's a thief, you know? <laughs> You know, he's a good-natured scoundrel. He's in that vein of the Han Solo or even Indiana Jones, you know, those great Harrison Ford roles. <laughs> With this game, you know, we were looking at Lawrence of Arabia and how do they shoot that and, you know, the editing and the cinematic style and how do you depict sand and uh, how can you make this awesome 3D desert be as impressive on the screen as it is in a movie? We want to capture the romance and the humor and the fun of this genre. Oh, crap. This is a character that everybody knows. He's an archetypal character. Drake! Can't just let her die! He's a flawed hero. You know, all of that stuff inspires us to make our games as good as what those great films are, that people remember and felt like an action movie that you were actually playing. We were really inspired by creating a human character and a cast of human characters around Nathan Drake that you forget that they're not real. Well, well, well. That's cute. What? Because it's a well. We can do anything we can imagine, but I think the responsibility is the same for us as game makers or uh, a filmmaker, which is don't lose your characters in the spectacle. We have cutscenes that are cut like a movie. You know, we try to mimic our favorite directors. I don't think so. But then on top of that, you want to feel like you are the action hero. You know, you want to feel like you're in the movie. We've had to really study what is it about these great films that we love? And what is it about these great games that we've grown up playing? And how can we put those two things together so that it feels like a classic action movie, and yet it plays like the best game you've ever played? Making Uncharted is just about making what's in our imaginations real. All of these effects just add to the player's immersion in the world that we've created. You're always just barely making it by the skin of your teeth. You're just hanging onto that ledge before it falls. You are just barely making it out of there before everything collapses around you. We really want to make it feel like you're in actual danger.